All right, man, we are back. We are back with another video and yet another question um, before we start today's video. But before we get into the question, remember, guys, this Friday night, May the 5th, Cinco de Mayo, I will be a part of a versus battle with my guy, Callie's Groom Room. Um, we will be on um, Equality Fragrances channel. Shout out EQ, man, for providing this opportunity for myself and Callie's Groom Room. Groom Room. We're going to have fun. The theme is summer date night fragrances. And um, I'm getting myself together now, man. I know Callie's going to bring his, man. And uh, ultimately, man, just there to have a good time. Have a good time. Um, listen to Fragrance Talk, man. See you guys show up and show out, man. And I know you guys will. May 5th, this Friday, Cinco de Mayo, versus myself, Callie's Groom Room on Equality Fragrances channel. It's going to be a fun, fun, fun time. All right. So before we get going, man, let's go ahead and get into today's question. I admit that I laughed out loud when I read this question. I don't know. It's just the way I, I read it just kind of made me laugh, but it's some truth to it for sure. Uh, I didn't do it, but it's some truth to it. All right. This is from my guy, Dale Miles, man. Shout out Dale, man. He says, yo, D, real quick question. Uh, was there ever a fragrance you experienced that was so good? That it just made you want to slap your mama. <laughs> slap your mama, man. Of course, that is a uh, reference to something that's being so great, man. It just gives you this overzealous, just uh, emotional attachment to it. And, and uh, I do have two off the top of my head. The first one was, I remember the very first time that I smelled uh, Guerlain's Lone Adiao EDP. The first time I smelled it, I'll never forget it, man. Um, I was just shocked and stunned and then quickly overcome with big emotion and big joy. And I just didn't know that a fragrance could smell so great. Um, and then the second one was Dior Homme uh, Parfum. It shut me down. <laughs> it shut me down. And I was in immense um, uh, 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 gratitude <laughs> that I was able to experience something that smelled like that. So, Girl on Loan, Adiyao EDP, Dior Own Parfum, those were the two that could have had me thinking about slapping my own mother, <laughs> which I wouldn't obviously never do, but that's why it was so funny to me, because just the term is so funny. All right, so, shout out Dale, man. Appreciate the question, man. Let's get to it, baby. YouTube, what's going on, YouTube? What's going on? What is happening, man? Of course, it's your guy, it's your man. It's one more time, Deirdre Alex Jr., and I am indeed back with yet another fragrance video, okay? So today, we're going to give some full impressions, first full impressions of these two fragrances that are always talked about in the fragrance community, especially during uh, the warmer weather months, the spring and the summer, and um, I'm looking forward to giving you guys my full first impressions thoughts with later reviews down the line if I acquire full bottles of these fragrances, all right? But before we get started, it smells good family. Hopefully everyone is doing well, fantastic. Hopefully whatever that can go good, I hope it is going great for you guys. And if there's anybody out there dealing with a rough time or not so a uh, good time in your life, man, I really hope change and, and uh, things can turn around rather, rather quickly uh, for you, all right? So um, you know how we give it up here on this channel, positive vibes, positive, positive energy, only man only all right so let's get into it so black on vlog number eight you guys saw me in nordstrom i was in my local nordstrom checking out some fragrances i didn't intend to buy anything but i ended up purchasing uh, a fragrance that i had been looking for and it's from the terre d'hermes house and it is uh og vray love that stuff either you love it or you don't i love it so unique so different and it's fantastic well there were two other fragrances in there that i was fortunate enough to get some samples of uh, the gentleman who was working the counter that day looked out for me and gave me some samples and that's why i can bring this video today all right so uh the house is terra dermes once again the two fragrances that we're going to be talking about is h24 the edt i have a um, carded sample uh here and then the second fragrance is going to be H24, the EDP, another carded sample here. All right, so I'm going to get um, those on a tester strip. Now, I've already smelled them. Um, I've already smelled them on skin. Like I said, if you saw Vlog 8, I got a pretty good idea of what the fragrances are, and I like both of them. I just want to spend a little bit more time with them and explain to you guys my thoughts, what I get um, with these two fragrances that I look to acquire full bottles of 
at some point soon. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the Edo Toilet. Uh, we have H24, uh, the EDT. And in the Fragrance community, there's some, some real good dialogue and conversation about this DNA. And um, I appreciate it. And I remember just smelling on skin for the first time. I thought it was really good. So here's the decant of Nordstrom. I don't know if I can get it clear enough where you can see that Nordstrom's writing right there. It's a little less than uh, two mLs. Um, but here we go on a tester strip. Yeah, these um these Nordstrom atomizer spray is pretty good now. Oh yeah, I smell it in the air, man. So on paper, yeah, man, I really like it, man. You get this uh, earthy, um, like this earthy, uh, like floral, um, and it's so blended, so it's so fresh. It's a fresh, earthy. You get a floral touch to it. Some woods in here. But it's something that's fresh. It's popping off of this paper. And to me, to my nose, this is definitely something that I want in my collection. I love the Terra Dare Mares line. I have the original EDT. I have OG Vray. I look to acquire H24 EDT as well. The Parfum I like. I just like that Terra Dare Mares line and look, uh, look forward to adding more to my collection, man, because I really enjoy it. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the notes, man, and uh, talk about what this is. So again, off my nose, it gets fresh. I get some uh, florals. I get some earthiness. I get a little bit of woods as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get into uh, the main, of course, of H24, the EDT. All right, we have an aromatic, metallic, yellow floral, soft, spicy, mineral, woody, green, balsamic, and ambery style of a fragrance. All right, the notes in this thing, you have clary sage. Narciss Narcissus, all right, uh, Palisander Rosewood, and then you get a note called Scar Scarlarine. Now, I'm not familiar with none of these notes, like on their, like, well, I'm not familiar with them and how they're done in this fragrance, but I will tell you that at the beginning of what you need to know, it smells good. Now, is this for everyone? I'm gonna say no. This is something that you need to smell before you buy. I don't think this is blind buy safe, guys, so don't take my opinion and what I'm talking about and go ahead and buy it. No, go out to your local Nordstrom's or your local dealers. They should have H24 EDT and C for yourself. But I can appreciate a fragrance that's fresh, a little green, a little woodsy, a little earthy, especially for the warmer weather, because where I live in Jacksonville, Florida, if the heat, when the heat gets a hold of this, and it, it you know elevates your temperature and elevates the fragrance, you're gonna get the best of what this fragrance has to offer. And that's what I'm looking forward to. So on paper, paper smells really good, really pleasant, aromatic, um, um, just really nice. This is something that if I'm gonna be out during the day, I, I, I wear this to the zoo during the summer. If me and the family are hanging out, I go out if me and my wife are just browsing around on a Saturday, you know, eating bad food and just hanging out. Or if I'm hanging with the fellas and maybe we're kind of just moving around on a weekend and just kind of chilling out and about outdoors, then yeah, this is something I would definitely wear. So H24 EDT, I hope to add it to my collection soon but I do like this stuff, all right? So H24, the EDT is something good for me. All right, let's move along to the Etta Parfum. Now, this is the one that lately has been getting all of the talk and the conversation, all right? So here's my card assembled for my local Nordstrom's, uh, H24, uh, the EDP. I'm gonna take it out the little thing here. Ugh. All right, and then we're gonna get it on another tester strip and see what this thing has to offer as you guys can see we got the small little two ounce nordstrom sample with the h24 inside let's go ahead and get this on this this thing here man it's just tough to oh it just sprayed it everywhere all right there it is it's all on my thumb too but it's okay because it smells great all right so let's go ahead and see what's up yeah, man, I, I I I like the EDT, but I I love the EDP. Much more bolder, much more. It has like a little smoky vibe to it. You still get those um, those that that same feeling as you get uh, with the EDT, at least to my nose. You get some florals in here, some green, some earthiness. 
but it's something providing a little bit more oomph to this version, to the EDP. Some spiciness as well is, is right in my nose as I smell it on paper. And I would grab the EDP before I grab the EDT. Now I like both and I want both in my collection. Do I find them redundant? I don't because the EDT is a lot more fresher, a lot more airier, a lot more aromatic. The EDP is not, it's a lot more denser, more body, um, a little bit more spiciness to it, a little bit more of a smoky feel, earthier feel, but it's blended very nice, very nice. All right, so let's get into H24, the EDP. Let's talk about the notes, what we get. Um, up top, you get a mossy, aromatic, earthy, woody, soft, spicy. No, is that the EDP or the EDT? Yes, yeah, excuse me. Soft, spicy, the yellow, floral, balsamic, and green uh, style of a fragrance. And with the EDP, the addition of the oak moss. And it is very, very present. If you love oak moss, you're going to love H24 EDP. Oak moss, clary sage, that scarlene note, narcissus, and Brazil rosewood are in uh the is the in the note breakdown for this fragrance again for me i gravitate towards more of the edp of something that i will grab on a more frequent basis now the edt look like i said if i'm just i'm going out with the you know with the family to the zoo or i'm just kind of moving around throughout the day i don't want to think about it man and um i want something a little bit light but with some identity to it and what i mean by that is it has a little bit more just your standard uh, citrus light airy fragrance no when you smell the EDT and the EDP you're gonna get a lot more than that and yeah man um, the EDP is really good I it, of course I'm gonna get the, I'm gonna go backwards I'll get the EDP first and then I'll get the EDT um, but I love both, but the EDP is more of my style, all right? It, to me, you have a unique feel, especially, you know, when people get into the niche versus the design thing. I really don't subscribe to that. I am one of the ones that, hey, if it smells good, no matter the concentration, no matter the, de the designer or the niche, whatever, man, like I'm into them all, <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, this one right here does give a, that unique feel. So anybody who's really out there uh, that are big fans of just niche houses, I would, you know, I would challenge you to try the H24 line, the EDT and the EDP, and just see what you get from it because it does offer that unique feel that you might be looking for, even with the fragrance in the warmer weather. You know, we got a lot of freshies and aquatics and ozonics that are going around during the warmer months. This is one to definitely look into, no doubt about it. Both of these will work in the heat. They will work in different scenarios. Uh, for somebody out there who's asking, can you wear it to the office? Yeah, you can. The EDP for sure. You can wear the EDP to the office, um, and I don't think you'll offend anybody. I just think you will come off uh, a little bit unique. Now, will I be wearing it to the office? Yes. The EDP, the EDT, probably not. The EDT will be something just for me when I'm out and about moving around in the warm weather. The EDP, I can see myself doing a couple of things with that. So, all in all, I really like both. I like the EDT. I'm really into the EDP, and I look to uh, acquire both of those to my collection, all right? So those are my first initial full first impressions of the two. I'll smell them on skin for those who watch vlog number eight. And this is um, you know, my opportunity to talk just a little bit more in depth to you guys about my thoughts about H24, EDT, and EDP, all right? So let me know down below in the comments, smell your family, do you have these fragrances? H24, EDT, EDP, if you do, let me know down below. Have you smelled them and you said they ain't for you? I still want to know why. Let me know down below in the comments for sure. What are your thoughts, good, bad, or indifferent about H24, EDT, and EDP? And then, of course, when I acquire these fragrances, wear them throughout the summer, of course, I'll be getting back with you guys with a more full, in-depth breakdown of both fragrances, all right? All right, Smell Good family, thank you guys for watching yet again. I, it really means a lot to me, all the support that I get from you guys. Thank you guys so much. And if you would like to be the next member of the Smell Good family, all you got to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, talk. You know, meet me in the comments so we can talk about what you love and what I love, and that is the beautiful art of fragrances. All right, remember, Friday, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, over on EQ's uh, channel, Equality Fragrances, myself, Callie's Groom Room, Verse Sense. If you're into fragrance dominant talk, come out, man. Give us a big crowd, man. Smell good family, represent, man.
Get down in the comments, man. Say how you feel. Let them know that you're here for your homeboy, man. And uh, let's see what happens between me and Callie. Appreciate our love once again. Splacker up. Splacker down. Splacker that thing all around. All right, man. Y'all be cool.